The Battle of Adrianople, or Siege of Adrianople, was fought during the First Balkan War. The siege began on 3 November 1912 and ended on 26 March 1913 with the capture of Edirne by the Bulgarian Second Army, and the Serbian Second Army. The loss of Edirne delivered the final decisive blow to the Ottoman army, and brought the First Balkan War to an end. A treaty was signed in London on 30 May. The city was reoccupied and retained by the Ottomans during the Second Balkan War. The victorious end of the siege was considered to be an enormous military success because the city's defences had been carefully developed by leading German siege experts and called undefeatable. The Bulgarian army, after five months of siege and two bold night attacks, took the Ottoman stronghold. The victors were under the overall command of Bulgarian General Nikola Ivanov while the commander of the Bulgarian forces on the eastern sector of the fortress was General Georgi Vazov, the brother of the famous Bulgarian writer Ivan Vazov, and of General Vladimir Vazov. The early use of an airplane for bombing took place during the siege, the Bulgarians dropped special hand grenades from one or more airplanes in an effort to cause panic among the Ottoman soldiers. Many young Bulgarian officers and professionals who took part in this decisive battle would later play important roles in Bulgarian politics, culture, commerce and industry. Chapter 1 – Final Battle The final battle consisted of two night attacks. Preparations for the battle included covering all metal parts of the uniforms and weapons with tissue to avoid any shine or noise. The armies that took part in the siege were put under joint command, creating a prototype of a front. Some light artillery pieces towed by horses followed the advancing units, which played the role of infantry support guns. Attempts were made to perturb all Ottoman radio communications to isolate and demoralize the besieged troops. On 24 March 1913, the external fortifications began to be captured and the next night, the fortress itself fell into Bulgarian hands. Early in the morning on 26 March 1913, the commander of the fortress, Mehmed Sukru Pasha, surrendered to the Bulgarian army, which ended the siege. After the surrender, large parts of the city, especially the houses of Muslims and Jews, were subjected to looting for three days. The perpetrators of the looting, however, are disputed, in that some accounts accuse the Bulgarian army of looting while other sources accuse the local Greek population. The Bulgarian achievements in the war were summarized by a British war correspondent as follows, a nation with a population of less than 5 million, and a military budget of less than 2 million pounds per annum placed in the field within 14 days of mobilization an army of 400,000 men and in the course of four weeks moved that army over 160 miles in hostile territory, captured one fortress and invested another, fought and won two great battles against the available armed strength of a nation of 20 million inhabitants, and stopped only at the gates of the hostile capital. With the exception of the Japanese and Gurkhas, the Bulgarians alone of all troops go into battle with the fixed intention of killing at least one enemy. There were many journalists who reported on the siege of Adrianople, their accounts provide rich details about the siege. Serbian units involved were the Second Army, under the command of General Stepa Stepanovic and heavy artillery, they had been dispatched because the Bulgarians lacked heavy artillery. Chapter 2 Arrival of Serbian Forces Serbian forces, commanded by General Stepa Stepanovic, arrived on 6 November 1912. In Mustafa Pasha Place, a railway station outside Odrin, Stepanovic immediately reported to the Supreme Commander, General Nikola Ivanov. The Serbian 2nd Army was formed from the Timok Division without the 14th Regiment, the 2nd Danube Division reinforced with the 4th Reserve Regiment, and the 2nd Dina Artillery Division. There was a total of 47,275 Serbian troops with 72 artillery guns, 4,142 horses and oxen and 3,046 cars. The arrival of the Serbian soldiers greatly improved the morale of the Bulgarian troops at Odrin. Both Serbian divisions were immediately sent to the front. The Timok division, strengthened by a Bulgarian regiment, occupied the northwestern sector between Maritza and Tunza rivers, its sector being 15 kilometers long. 
The Danube division occupied a five kilometers stretch of the western sector between the Maritza and Arda rivers. A combined brigade was formed from the Timok Cavalry Regiment and the Bulgarian Guard Cavalry Regiment to scout the Maritza Valley. Chapter 3, Gallery